Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In this very very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations, in this series we will be solving today one very interesting rational equation. Equation is x over x plus 1 whole square plus x over x minus 1 whole square equal to 12. We have to find out real values of x. So let's get started by writing one fundamental algebraic identity which is a plus b whole square equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab. Now I can see a square b square. So I will write a square plus b square equal to a plus b whole square minus twice a b. So it is obvious that I will substitute this as a and it will be b. So it is a square b plus b square formation. But before that if you will see this denominators x plus 1 and x minus 1. So we can conclude x cannot be equal to plus minus 1. These points will be exempted. So let's apply a and b. So I will write our original equation as it would be a plus b whole square. So I will write x over x plus 1 plus x over x minus 1 whole square minus 2 times a is x over x plus 1 b is x over x minus 1 equal to 12. Okay. Now I will take LCM. I will simplify LHS first. So if I will take LCM simply then I will write like this x plus 1 times x minus 1 and here I can consider x times x minus 1. You can take x common also. x times x plus 1. This whole is square. Minus 2 times I will write x square over a plus b a minus b. So let me write that identity also. So we know that a plus b times a minus b that would be equal to difference of two squares a square minus b square. So here I can write x square minus 1 equal to 12. Now see what will happen here. Here I will write x square minus x plus x square plus x over. See denominator is again difference of two squares a plus b a minus b. I will write x square minus 1 and this whole is square minus 2 x square over x square minus 1 equal to 12. Let me cancel these two plus and minus x. So what is left? 2 x square. I will write here itself so that you can see 2x square over x square minus 1 whole square. Then minus 2x square over x square minus 1 equal to 12 or minus 12 equal to 0. Now you can see this is quadratic in this bracket 2x square over x square minus 1. So I will give substitution here which will be 2x square over x square minus 1 is equal to suppose y. So this equation will become y square minus y minus 12 equal to 0. Okay. Let's solve this quadratic equation. So I will write equation first. It was y square minus y 
minus 12 equal to 0. And our substitution, let me write here, 2x square over x square minus 1, this is our y. Now let's solve this quadratic equation. I will apply quadratic formula or Shidrachar formula, y equal to minus b, so negative of negative 1, 1 plus minus square root b square, so minus 1 square, 1 minus 4ac, c is negative, so it will become plus 48 over 2a, a is 1, so 2. Now I will write 1 plus minus square root 49 over 2. So I can write 1 plus minus, this is 7 over 2. So y will come out 1 plus 7 over 2, 1 minus 7 over 2. 1 plus 7 is 8 over 2, so 4. 1 minus 7 over 2, so minus 6 over 2, minus 3. Now, this is our y. I will put here in place of y, I will write 2x square, let me write here. 2x square over x square minus 1 is equal to 4. This is our first equation. And our second equation is 2x square over x square minus 1 equal to minus 3. So here we are having two equations. We will solve both the equations for our solutions. So let me solve the very first one. So I will cross multiply the written terms. So I can write, let me write here, 2x square over x square minus 1 equal to 4. Cross multiply, 2x square is equal to 4x square minus 4. I will take 2x square to the right. That means we will get 2x square is equal to 4. Divide both sides with 2. So you can cancel these two numbers, you will cancel these two by 2. So x square is equal to 2. So x will come out plus minus square root 2. This is our first couple of solutions. Now second equation is, let me write 2x square over x square minus 1 is equal to negative 3. Okay, so I will again cross multiply. So I will write 2x square is equal to minus 3x square plus 3. It will become 5x square is equal to 3. Divide both sides with 5. So we can cancel this way. So x square is equal to 3 over 5. Take square root both sides. I will write x is equal to plus minus square root 3 over 5. Here we are having two more solutions and none of the solution is plus minus 1. So final answer for the equation of this rational equation is x is equal to plus minus square root 2 and the other two solutions are x is equal to plus minus square root 3 over 5. If you won't consider like this algebraic identity, you will go by the, the conventional method, then you will find this question is not easy. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck.